Hello everyone, welcome to another episode of Art Whisper 88. Today I'm going to do some experiments with different brands and try to combine uh, different uh, colors. And my tool today will be my color shaper. It's really a piece of rubber silicone. It's very flexible and it's great for manipulating your colors on the plate. So I will start with cadmium red. And a high contrasting color is cadmium blue green. This is halo green. And some paints gray and this is pearl blue this is Amsterdam and I've never tried this before I'm going to just give it a try so I do love iridescent colors they give a, a nice dimension so I will be using my two inch brayer. And combine with this. I notice the color shaper can focus on a specific area. Okay. And then I flatten it out with my brayer. This way I get a very painterly effect, which otherwise I could not achieve with a brush. And I'm alternating vertical and horizontal strokes just to create some movement.
This is my Blick watercolor paper. It's 15 inch by 22 inch. I'll put the link in the description box below because many of you viewers are curious what kind of paper I'm using. Now paper is a very personal choice. I always tell my fellow artists that choosing paper is like choosing a partner. It's a very uh, individual kind of choice and I don't think anyone can really tell you what's best for yourself. You have to decide that yourself. And I feel the same way about viewers who are very preoccupied with finding out the exact details of what color name or what brand I'm using or what's this or what's that. I think the, the whole point of being an artist is to be inventive and to find out what is best for yourself and not what somebody else tells you. That's what creativity is about. So being resourceful, being inventive, and having initiative. Oh, this is awesome. I've got a an abstract painting here and this is just one layer and it did produce a very beautiful ghost I'm going to use unbleached titanium Cadmium Yellow Deep. This time I'm going to use a wider brayer because I want to thin this out. And I'm not I'm not pressing hard on the brayer. I'm just letting the brayer glide lightly over the face of the plate. Okay, I have, that's why I keep toothpicks on hand. I have a piece of coagulated paint here. I'm going to take it out. Put some 
marks with my silicone brush. This is quickly becoming my favorite tool. Okay, now since I'm trying to pick up a ghost, I'm going to leave this on for about five to six minutes and let the paper do its job. Pretty wild. gonna get like the proverbial box of chocolates still very beautiful I'm going to do some cadmium red some rose matter. This is a very beautiful burgundy color which I've come to like a lot. Again, I'm not pressing too hard. I'm just letting it glide across the face of the gel plate. I'm afraid this is my last sheet of Blick watercolor paper. I've been having too much fun and sometimes even 30 sheets is not enough. It goes fast. So again, I will leave this on for about five to six minutes. Okay, it's been about six minutes. 
let's see what we have here. It's really stuck on the plate. I think this is an awesome transfer because there's hardly anything left on the plate. Check this out. Now, is that awesome or what? Now this is the reason I love printmaking. The, the reward is difficult to describe in words when I pull something as wonderful as this. So I will dry all three of these and I will be right back. Okay, this has dried nicely. Um, among the three of these, I think this one needs a little help with collage. And I have this piece of tissue which I had blotted uh, some black paint earlier. And I think this will work. Now this tissue is semi-transparent, so it will still show what's underneath. Again, I'll be using my Mod Podge. Now this is actually a mixture of matte and satin. I mixed them into the same jar because uh, once you water it down this much, there's not much of a difference. Now, there is a difference when you use it straight out of the jar, when you have a shiny surface, you can use gloss, and when you have a matte surface, you can use matte. But that's a personal preference. Okay, it's already showing through the uh, translucent nature of this. Okay, I think that's good enough. So I will air dry this and recap when this is dry.
Now here is the first pool. I like this a lot. I think it stands alone. It's a close-up. And I think the uh, textures are outstanding. And there's something to be said about the color intensity of the Soho acrylic paints. They seem to be more vivid because of the um, added shine to them. They have a glossy finish. So I think that makes the colors even richer, as you can see here. They almost shimmer, especially in this segment here. It's like um, the reflections you see in the water. But that's the uh, texture created by the brayer. And uh, that's why sometimes I just leave the brayer. I don't really wash it that much because it does create these beautiful textures. So that is the first piece. This is the one with the additional touch. I thought that it needed it just to give it some definition. I think the uh, stark black brushwork is very effective against the pale yellow. It's an effective graphic element. So I will wrap up with this final piece, a piece number three, which I think has a very beautiful texture and color. And the, even the markings are very subtle. I hope you like this video. Please share this with your friends. Hit the like button and better still hit the subscribe button if you haven't already. Please check out artwhisperer88.com and these pieces are on the website for sale and all the proceeds go to help keep this channel going. Thank you for your support and I hope to see you next time.